Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm taking you along with me to my trip in February to see the beautiful country of Argentina. It's been my dad's dream of a lifetime and I got to join him and other family there. So I'm bringing you along with my experience. This first part is gonna be in Buenos Aires and I hope you enjoy and I'm sharing all the things that we did and any tips along the way. This is the Hotel Pulitzer. Beautiful hotel in Buenos Aires, Argentina. So one of the things that I'm going to recommend to you if you're ever in the city of Buenos Aires is to get the yellow hop-on hop-off bus. There are two hop-on hop-off buses. The yellow one does circulate uh, more frequently every 15 minutes as opposed to the red one that goes by every 30 minutes. So we highly, highly recommend the bus to take you to all of the um, spots that you want to visit because the city of Buenos Aires is enormous. It's the second largest city in South America, second after Sao Paulo, Brazil. And it's so much easier on the hop and off bus. Like the first day we were able to stop at several locations and see different places. And then the next day there are certain things that you wanna explore. You can also go on the bus again. The fare was around $36 for two days on the bus. And you can get off and get on. Uh, pretty easily so this is the quaint uh, little neighborhood of Caminito which is cobblestone streets it's colorful shops and storefronts it was just a very cool place to go to this was on a weekend so it was Saturday morning and there were lots of little um, market stalls and people wandering outside After Caminito, we headed to Puerto Madero, which is another very popular spot. There are these industrial buildings that have been turned into restaurants, and there is the bridge, the famous um, Puente de Mujeres, the Bridge of Women. And it was just a very walkable area, lots of people, uh, great food. So it was a really nice place to visit as well. After Puerto Madero, we headed to the area of the Ecological Reserve to have a choripa, which is a typical sausage on bread. And I also drank the famous perne with Coca-Cola, which is this liquor that they make over there. Very, very tasty. And of course, gelato ice cream. Later that night, my sister had booked us a show on Viator.com to see the tango and have dinner before and um, it was a delicious dinner. Everything was included, the wine, dessert, and then we got to see a traditional tango show. After the incredible first day of exploring Buenos Aires, we went to see the Japanese gardens in Buenos Aires. There is a Japanese community in Buenos Aires and we love nature so we decided to explore. The tickets were under $2 and it was great and there was a tour guide that was included and explained all the features of the garden. So it was just a great experience. Again, you gotta bring your walking shoes because the city is meant to be explored 
And the best way to do this is by walking. So we walked and into the old neighborhood of Palermo, which is just a great walkable neighborhood full of stores and shops and there were markets all around. This was on a Sunday. One of the things that I really appreciated were all the wall murals in Palermo. There's a lot of, of art everywhere and there was a lot of energy, a lot of people. And this was on a Sunday, Sunday afternoon, and we had a great time there. One of the things I also appreciate about Buenos Aires is all of the trees. There's so much greenery, so many trees everywhere. So it just made for a great time. It was summertime over there, but the weather felt really good. And we couldn't leave Buenos Aires without stopping at Ateneo Bookstore. Originally a theater, it had been converted, but the original architecture was still there. And in the back of the bookstore, there was a little coffee shop and we had cappuccinos and ate alfajores, which is the typical Argentinian cookie with caramel. And it was just a fun, fun thing to do. And of course we had to stop and visit an old church. Uh, my parents are very, very Catholic and it was just beautiful to walk in there before we headed back to our hotel with our very, very tired feet. Esa es la plaza de San Martín. Again, by walking, you can truly appreciate all of the historical architecture in Buenos Aires. The city reminded me a lot of Europe in this aspect, a lot of the same architecture. And for dinner, we had the best pizza and just called it a day before we headed on to Calafate, which is going to be in part two because there's just a lot to share. <laughs> 